Well, it's absolutely true. There is uh, clearly an enormous amount of equipment that can be um, uh, put into a grow tent and it's often changing. Um, HBS lighting to LED lighting won't be a classic one. Because Budbox focused on power reflectivity from the start, um, we are already future-proof with LED. We, our white material will get the most out of your LED uh, compared to any other grow tent. But some of the other features that we have taken into account is, for example, the clear floor area. When you're placing uh, pots on the inside of the tent, you don't want bars running across. So part of the reason we went to 25 millimeter poles from 120, 120 upwards is so that the frame was so strong you could hang any future equipment that was going to be of any weight whatsoever from the top. And also we offer a number of uh, options in terms of ports. So because equipment uh, can change in terms of location within the tent and different types of equipment, we try and give you the most options from small cable ports at the top for electricity to uh, irrigation bar at the bottom, which we have is a unique for Budbox, um, which is called the H bar or the uplift irrigation bar for allowing for gravity fed watering and nutrient systems. Um, access doors, because clearly there's a lot of equipment inside a tent, we were the first to come up with access doors to enable you to get into all aspects of the tent without necessarily having to step over or reach in. In terms of uh, changes to equipment uh, that comes on the scene, clearly Budbox V1 was 18 years ago uh, when it was first hit the market. Because of the principles that Budbox undertook at the time for the construction of its tents was around power reflectivity. We have already, as we found, future-proofed ourselves because of the time we spent originally on the design. The white material offering an incredibly high power reflectivity rate is as equally applicable to HPS lighting as it is to LEDs. It is fair to say that we have, with our uh, oversized venting, our irrigation bar, our access doors, uh, and many other features, we have, and so far, been proved right that any equipment can be put into our grow tents. And we firmly believe that any changes going forward, A, we're looking for already, but can be easily accommodated in the Budbox Pro. We believe they are future-proof. One of the most significant features for the development of a Budbox Pro was the white material itself. The flat white material, which is unique to Budbox and in no other grow tent, all of the white grow tents are shiny, which is not as power reflective, but that flat white material took three years to develop. Uh, an incredibly difficult time uh, and as you can imagine an enormous amount of testing that was going on. Um, many versions were tried, we haven't changed it since, we got it right first, um, but I would suspect that the white material was probably our toughest to market challenge all those years ago. Since then we've managed to overcome every new aspect and uh, because of the skill of our team and our factory why are able to implement new changes in a well prototyped and tested way.